Sometimes you will still see those infomercials touting how you can buy a house for just a few dollars by buying foreclosed properties. The reality is it isn't that easy, glamorous, or that cheap. But if you're interested in pursuing auction foreclosed properties, here's where to find them, how to buy them, and the risks involved. Hi, I'm Francine Viola, Realtor in Olympia, Washington, and today we're talking about buying foreclosures. Foreclosures are auction properties and the highest bidder wins. There is no purchase and sale agreement, no contingencies, no negotiations, no financing, and no Realtor representation. Although I can't help you with your foreclosure purchase, because I get asked about this all the time, I thought I'd go over some of the ways you can purchase a foreclosure in the Olympia area. Foreclosures happen when homeowners can no longer pay their mortgage payment or their real estate taxes. For homeowners who are delinquent in paying their property taxes, Thurston County holds an annual sale every January. For 2021, the sale dates are January 4th, 5th, and 6th. For details on this sale, I have a link in the description below. But if you miss the sale, you can find those on RealtyTrack.com and other sites, including my least favorite site, Zillow. If you want to know why I hate the big Z, check out this video I did. Every foreclosure listing will have different bidding requirements and processes because different auction houses will be handling the sale. But the common things to be prepared for are expect a deposit fee before being able to bid on a property. This can be a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. Expect to pay a fee to the auction firm on top of the sales price. This could be a percentage of the sales price or a flat fee. And if you're the winning bidder, you'll need to pay for your purchase in cash in full within a few days. Buying an auction foreclosure has its risks. You probably already guessed one of those risks, and that is you're buying the property in as-is condition. There's not an opportunity to inspect the home, let alone being able to see inside the property. And don't go to the property and peek in the windows. That is trespassing and that is illegal. You will have no idea about the condition of the property and you are buying blind. There may be liens on the property that are either not readily discoverable or are not paid off at the time of the sale. This is usually the job of the title company, but when you're buying an auction foreclosure, you won't have a title company researching and providing an insurance policy. In fact, if you think you're gonna flip the property, you may not be able to do that for at least three years because a title company may not offer insurance. Auction foreclosure properties typically have damaged chains of title and there could also be several third-party entities that still have a claim or interest in the property. That would make the property very difficult to insure from a title perspective. And then there's the issue if the property has occupants in it. Not only is this a problem anyways, but our governor in here in Washington state has extended the eviction moratorium until the end of March, 2021. If you wanna learn more about this moratorium, be sure to watch my video. If you're interested in buying auction foreclosures, please seek the advice of a real estate attorney. If you need help with finding a really good real estate attorney, let me know, I can send you my list. There are other distressed properties you can buy that are not in the auction format and they're purchased in more normal ways. For example, bank owned properties are listed by realtors and realtors like myself can represent you as the buyer. The home buying process for bank owned properties is the typical process with a few exceptions, but overall you can write up an offer with contingencies, you can inspect the property, and if the home is in good shape, you can also finance it just like you would in a typical non-distressed sale. There are also short sale properties that are also listed by realtors and I can represent you as a buyer on these as well. The process for buyers who are pursuing a short sale is a little different, but the basics are still there. Have more questions? Let me know and you can read my full blog post in the link below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.